Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, give him praise, give him honor, give him glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, uh, I didn't expect to get up on here today, just to be honest with you, but the miracles of God is real. Now, I want to go ahead and get this started before I even begin. I am not glorifying myself in no shape, form, or fashion. However, when I heard the testimony this morning, God said, tell it, you know, and I was like, okay. And, and, and I realized why. So I want you, I want you to understand why I'm saying this. It's not to glorify myself or anybody else for that matter. People are not seeing the true healing and power of God. I don't know if they just don't believe anymore, which I kind of believe that because they're so into blessings that they don't understand that they have power. Remember, I was just talking about this yesterday. So ironically, today we got a, a miracle testimony and um, I see she just joined us too. Well, I have a friend that's in um, Orlando, Florida and a long story short without telling her about the business, right? Um, he's in the hospital, long story short, um, having stomach cancer, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. And uh, he's from the Bahamas. And so he was in so much pain. He was regurgitating, all kind of things happening. And so um, I prayed. I said, okay, God, what do you want me to do? You know, um, I didn't feel led to go up there. You know what I'm saying? So I said, okay, God, what do you want me to do? So I told her, I said, get an extra virgin oral bottle. You can get that from the dollar store, you guys. I mean, it could be a small bottle. Because here's the deal. I truly believe in the anointing all. The Bible says that lay hands, anoint each other, anoint thyself. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I believe in the power of God. So basically, what I did is I unscrewed the bottle and I prayed over it. Now, when I pray, I lift it up to Father God in the name of Jesus. Take this all out of its natural use. I pray for miracle signs and wonders, healing and deliverance through you, Father God. We're just vessels. Now, and I'm telling you how to do it so you can do it for your loved ones. If you believe it, you got to believe. You got to have some radical faith to do stuff like this. Then after I put my hand over the top of the bottle and I begin to speak in tongues. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because when you speak in tongues, the utterance, you don't know what you're praying, but the Holy Spirit knows what you're praying, right? Praise God, hallelujah. So. Let me continue. She called me this morning, and so I called her back. Um, and what she had did is she anointed his body with the oral, and he also drunk three sips. I, I actually used to tell my class this, and I tell other people as well. If you have anything going on in your body, or, or even if you don't, because sometimes just spirit, soul ties. Don't, don't I like y'all know what I'm saying? Because when you're with the wrong person, just to be honest with you, and you're having intercourse, you can get some spirits. Come on, somebody. Sexually transmitted demons. Let's just be honest about it. So let me get to the point. This morning, the praise report was, he's not regurgitating anymore. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The fever broke. And I truly believe that God is going to totally heal him. Let me tell you something. I, like I said, I didn't get on here to probably, you know, be bodacious or bragging. No. God wants you all to know that we got to start believing in the power of God again. That's why we're not seeing people healed. That's why we're not seeing people delivered. That's why we're not seeing people set free because you don't know what you possess. I just said that in a video yesterday. You don't know what you hold. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I know what I carry. I know what I carry. Come on, somebody. I didn't ask for it. Hallelujah. But hold on. Notice I say I carry. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the power of the anointing. That's the apostolic power of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. My question is, when are we going to start believing again? When are we going to start doing it ourselves? Why, why do you think I'm telling you how to do it? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Most of y'all, y'all go to pastors. Y'all go to preachers. Y'all go to everybody else. You got it inside of you. Come on, somebody. All you got to do is believe. God says in Luke 10, 19, I've given you power over the enemy to tread over serpents, over scorpions. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the same power is the same power of the Holy Ghost. The same power that Jesus rose up Lazarus. The same power that Paul had when they cast his shadow and everybody was here. The same power. Hallelujah. But we have a church that don't understand the power of God. The same power that healed me. I had cancer. And I'm not lying. I, I wish I'd have kept those letters that the doctor was writing me. I didn't keep those letters. I should have kept, kept them because I didn't see I didn't see myself being this person today. I'm just being honest with you. But I, even when I had the cancer, I was still, I was saved. I was a deacon in the church, I think. Well, anyway, 
Here's, I was digging this. So here's the deal. I remember when they wrote me this, you're going to die if you don't take this. You're going to die. I mean, they really wrote that in the letter. And I never forget. I asked God. I said, God, am I going to die? God said, Deanna, fight. I put everybody out that didn't believe what I believe. You don't hear what I'm saying. You got to have some faith. God said, if you just one, just one, if just one touch and agree, because now you got to believe now. I forgot to tell y'all that before anything, if you don't believe, you must just go sit down somewhere and just keep on being like with the woman that is your blood. Let me tell you something. She was dying, but you don't understand why she was dying. She was dying, and, and hold on, she has spent all of my money. The Bible says that the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years spent all her money. You know why? Because it was a mental thing. She thought she was dying. She was convinced she was dying, and probably other people say, oh, girl, you're dying. Hallelujah. But when you ask God, or better yet, when you start to believe I should live and not die. There's something in your spirit that starts fighting. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. What am I saying? You know what condemned her? Her mouth. But it was the same mouth that she turned around and said, if yet I but touch the hem of his garment. It was the same words, the same mouth that got her delivered. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Some of you, the reason why you're in situations is because of your mouth. Death and life were in the power of the tongue and those that love should eat the food thereof. Hallelujah. You hear what I'm saying? We got to go back, speak life, lay hands, believe, and you should receive. That's what this is about. The powers of God, the healings of God, the miracles of God, the anointing of God. But you got to be pure. I didn't say perfect. I said pure. You got to have a pure heart. What is that? No evil in your heart, trying to get people back, trying to say all kinds of stuff, trying to plot plan. Hallelujah. A pure heart. That's the only way the power of God can flow. That's why the church not seeing it. Most people don't have a pure heart. They have, they have pure intentions, <laughs> agendas. Hallelujah. So that's all I want to get up on here say this morning. God bless you. God keep you. How you doing? Please press tag and share. God is doing something in these days. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. I know the world's in shambles, trust me. And, and what they're trying to do, honestly, is to install more fear and more fear and more fear. But here's the deal. You got to have so much faith in God that you believe God in the midst of adversity, in the midst of stuff, in the midst of trials, in the midst of tribulations, in the midst. I still trust God. I still believe God. I still, hallelujah. People get dismayed because the test and the troubles and sometimes they hit you to the core of your spirit. You still got to have faith in God. So it's not just a, a anointing walk. It's a faith walk. They go hand in hand. If you ain't got no faith, you cannot have the anointing. Hallelujah. They go hand in hand. So God bless you. God keep you. And come on, increase your faith. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who you are. God bless.